So this Anthony Davis situation is completely and utterly ridiculous, if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen. Now tonight, Anthony Davis, man, scored 11 points, ladies and gentlemen, in 33 minutes, went five for 11 from the field. Now, Skip Bayless, during the game, took to Twitter, and he had this to say about Anthony Davis. He said, Looney reportedly is sick, played only eight minutes to AD's 21, yet Looney had six rebounds to AD's five. What is it about this man, Anthony Davis, that he randomly comes out without fire and drifts through the games? No intensity, no attack mode, no give me the ball, and get out of my way. So Skip probably tweeted this at some point during the game, ladies and gentlemen. And me watching the game myself, man, I was completely baffled that Anthony Davis just didn't really seem that aggressive and looking for a shot. So the Lakers obviously lost tonight's game, which was expected. Obviously, Golden State championship caliber team the defending champions they're not going to go down 0-2 going back to los angeles so they pulled out the win tonight and they handled their business now the lakers as you guys can see by the graphics they handled their business in san francisco and got the split and are headed back to los angeles tied 1-1 the same exact scenario as the series against the Grizzlies, right? Same exact thing. The Lakers got the split, came home to LA, protected our home court, went back to Memphis for game five and closed them boys out in game six. Now, we did a live show immediately after the game and something that is just very, very odd to me, right, is that Dudes want to call in and blame LeBron James for tonight's loss. Now, LeBron James obviously didn't have the greatest game, but he still led the Lakers in points, right? Had 23 tonight. Um, had a very good game in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he had the three ball going early in the game, as you can see by this shot now. We had a guy call in, and this is what he had to say about LeBron James. Yo, who is this, man? Hey, this is me, Reggie. I remember you said. I remember you. Wait a second. 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 I'm not finna. I'm not finna allow you to do that. Right now, the Lakers have been winning games, and we have not heard from you. Right. So I find it ironic. Now, chat. I told you how these dudes do. They only no. pop out when the Lakers lose. Okay. No, now, no, Leonardo, no, Le Leonardo, Leonardo. Before I let you go, right? I gotta give you a proper introduction. How Just am like I the hating? Clippers. You how hate, am I hating? You hate the Clippers. And the Clippers never went to an NBA Finals. Tell me what the Clippers. Tell me how the Clippers stopped the Lakers from going to a final. They have never been to a final. Okay, and you so Lakers how am I hating? Who am I hating on? on? Oh, hold on, let me ask you this. You hate on the fucking Clippers. You hate on the Clippers. Hold Fuck out of here, bro. Hold on. Fuck out of here, nigga. Hold on. Put your bitch ass up, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm Dude, talking to you, nigga. What's up? What's up? You in Atlanta? What's up? All right, man. All right, Leonardo, go ahead and get your shit off, man. Okay. Now, Reggie, this is what I was saying, right? It's funny to me how, how you said, hey, I got a clip from you, too, so don't worry. But... It's funny to me how you said, it's funny to me how you said that coaching only matters uh, 15 to 20%, but when you are loose, you want to put all the blame on Darvin Ham. You never blame LeBron. That's funny to me. Okay, young man. Um, then, then you not, then you not listen, say that listen, listen, li listen, Leonardo, Leonardo, did I get up, did I, did I, did I come on the show? and stand up on the table and, and, and jump up and down for how great of a game LeBron had. No, I didn't. I gave LeBron yes, the same... But, hold on, hold on, because I gave LeBron the same energy I gave everybody else. No, no, no. That's I, well, hold on. See, see, here's my thing. Here's my thing with you, Leonardo, right? This is what I'm talking about, the, the dick riding and the cock surfing. LeBron James, Leonardo, I don't know if you watched the game, right? 
23 points I tonight. Pro- 23 points tonight. Now, Anthony Davis had 11, but you didn't come in here talking about Anthony Davis scoring 11 points. The first no, thing no, you no, did was the- bring up LeBron James. Why? Exactly. He was exactly. our leading scorer. Hold on. Right. Hold on. The first you thing right. you do, the first thing you do is, is try to blame the guy who did the most. No. Why don't you talk about Austin Reeves? Why don't you talk about D'Angelo Russell? Why don't you talk no, about Anthony no, listen, Davis? Listen, you want me to tell you why? I could tell you why. You want me to tell you why? Because no matter none of them players. Try to be like MJ. LeBron James was the one who claimed to be MJ wearing the number 23 when he first came into the league. Did he do that? Yes or no? Did he do that? Yes or no? Did AD wear number 23 after he was Michael Jordan? And then after he won two championships, he tried to say that he's the best player in the world. Yes or no? That was LeBron. That was all LeBron. So when people talk to you about LeBron, you got to go blame LeBron because LeBron James was the one that wore the number 23 and said, I'm the best player in the world. Then you try to blame Kyrie. You try to sell his craziness. You, you try to defend LeBron for every little thing. Leonardo, but when Leonardo, LeBron, Leonardo, you do this every fucking time. I told you, this is why we can't have conversations. Leonardo, I'm doing a show, all right? We have a specific topic that we're talking about tonight. That would be game two. Why you're talking about LeBron and Michael Jordan comparison? Can you talk about what happened tonight? No, the reason I said that, the reason I said that is because the fact is you going and blame Darvin Ham. You said coaching only matters 15 to 20%. So why are you even putting the blame on Darvin Ham? Bro, you always do that. Here's what what I said. Here's what I said about Darvin Ham. I said... I said, I don't know why Lonnie can't get in the game. And I said, I'm not confident with Darvin going against Steve Kerr. That's all I said. I didn't get up here and, and, and okay. blast Darvin, but cuss Darvin said, out. I didn't do all that tonight, Leonardo. What are you talking about, man? Okay. But if you said, but if you said that coaching only matters 15 to 20 percent, and you said LeBron James is the best player in the world. So if LeBron James is supposed to be the coach, he should be the one to go to Darvinham and he should be the one to say, hey, put Lonnie Walker in. So I don't, I, I, I just don't get your point. Every time you come to LeBron, you want to sit there and defend LeBron James for everything. If the Lakers had to win the finals, you're going to say that LeFord was the, was the MVP and he should have been finals MVP, right? That's why you want to give LeFord credit when he's winning. But when they're losing, you want to blame the coach? You want to blame AD? You want to blame everybody? Okay, here's my That's thing. Here, here, here's my, here's my, here's my issue with what you're saying. I could see you would actually have a point, right? If LeBron wasn't doing what he was doing. Now, if LeBron came in tonight and had, I don't know, the same amount of points as Austin Reeves, then you'd have a point. But when you come in here in the first, the first person you try to blame is LeBron, and he literally led us in scoring. That doesn't make sense. Do you understand that, Leonardo? Okay. No, because my thing is, it don't matter if you lead the, th- it don't matter if you lead the team in scoring. If you disappear in the fourth quarter, what was the point anyway? The great players, the great players like Steph, Jimmy Butler, Giannis, these players take over in the fourth quarter. Kobe, these players take over in the fourth quarter. And LeBron's LeBron better than all of those niggas you just named. So what are we talking about? Everybody you just named, LeBron's better than. So that's what I'm saying. What what is it? What, what is your issue? Listen, Leonardo, Leonardo, I get you're a Heat fan, right? Just just be honest with us. You're a little bit mad and you're scorned that LeBron left the Heat. Let's just keep it all the way one thousand, Leonardo. No, no, I mean, I let's just be no, 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 no. Let's just be for real. That's that's your issue no, with LeBron no, is that he left your team, hey, right? No. Nope, nope, I'm I'm being for real. I'm serious. No, I don't know, because this 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 seems that. personal. This seems team. personal, Leonardo. You've got you you've got no, some sort of issue it's with LeBron. Me. Like I said, you have yet to do you know anybody else on our roster other than LeBron James? I know a lot of people. I know okay, a lot of so people. So why don't you ever talk about them? Okay, let me tell you why? Because no none, none of them is the one. None of them is the one that- All right, man. You're done. So, ladies and gentlemen, man, you guys heard the bullshit, right? Um, It seems like no matter what this man does, the haters are just going to have a problem with it. Now, like I told this guy, uh, Leonardo, on the phone, man, we got a 15-man roster, right? Now, 
He doesn't mention Austin Reeves. He doesn't mention Anthony Davis. He doesn't mention D'Angelo Russell in the games that they played, right? Only want to blame LeBron James. You dudes got to stop, okay? Now, I get you don't like LeBron James for whatever reason, but the hate is just getting out of control, ladies and gentlemen, man. But listen, the Lakers, like I said earlier, are headed back to the Crypto.com arena, tied 1-1. We're in good shape, all right? All we got to do is protect our home court, and we should be fine. As far as Anthony Davis, I'm expecting a dominant performance in both games in Los Angeles, and the same thing for LeBron James. But what I want you guys to do is come into the comments down below and let me know what you thought about the game. And yes, man, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. This was another installment of The Locker Room. Peace.